Hey, hello everyone. So in this video, I will be teaching you Vector. So Vector is a STL container. So this is going to be our first video in STL playlist. So let's get started. So here I have here a empty program with dash include IO stream and using namespace and in main. So for using Vector, we need to include uh, one of these two header files. Okay. First header file is going to be dash include bit slash std c plus plus dot h. This basically uh, includes all the inbuilt library functions, all the containers, all the algorithms. So I wouldn't recommend you to include this header file if you are only using Vector in your program. Okay. So you can only include as include Vector. That's it. Using this, we will be able to use all the functions of Vector. Okay. So you don't need to include this entire thing if you are if you are using only only vector in your program okay or if you are using like many inbuilt functions std uh, stl functions means it's better to go with the whole thing okay so let's get started so first let's discuss what is a vector okay so vector is like uh, best definition is vector is a dynamic array okay so when you are declaring an array in c++ you will be putting in arr and if you aren't sure about the size okay if you aren't sure about the predetermined number of uh, number of elements in the array you will be going with random 100000 as a value okay this can be avoided in vector because vector is dynamic in nature because it takes on the number of elements as you go on adding inside it so the syntax for defining vector is vector the data type and a name that's it here we'll be having a data type so it will be putting int okay let's consider int vector if int string character is going to go come inside it and this is the name of a vector same thing as naming a variable vector this is the syntax and b Okay, so how we can add elements inside a vector? That's also really simple. We are going to have v dot push underscore back. Let me. They have, we are going to pass the variable. If you are getting input from the user, just get the input and pass it. Here I'll be putting one. So one will be pushed, and I will copy this, and I will paste it. I'll put two. Next line. I will be putting over here three. So that's it. So now we have got, uh, we will be, it will be stored in this form. Okay. You can just imagine it will be stored like this. One, two, three. Same thing. Same thing as everything is same related to array is common uh, to vector as well. So now how to display the output for displaying the output. It's same as, same as for uh, arrays as well. You will be using a for loop, iterating through each element and printing it. So that's it. Same i equal to zero. Here we are having like three elements. Okay. So our i will be less than three. Okay, I will show you how we can avoid that. I is less than 3, I plus plus, and C out, and C out, we are having V is the name of our vector, so V of I. Just give some space in between the elements and print it. So instead of using this I less than 3, we are manually assigning the size of the vector. We can use another input function to know it. I will just show this output and show you what is the function. So if I just compile and run, I'll be getting the output as one, two, three. That's fine. And now to avoid this, okay, what we can do is there's an inbuilt function. Size is the inbuilt function, okay? It's C out and C out. It's V dot size, okay? And here I will let us have another C out elements elements R. And now I will let me just run and show you. So we are getting like three, okay. I will put an end over here. So as you can see here, I am getting the output as three, and then the elements are. So this three is basically b dot size, okay. This can be really helpful when you are unsure how many elements are pushed inside your vector, okay. So instead of assigning this manually, here you can replace it by b dot size. So you can even store this v dot size to like this one, okay? Like uh, int s equal to v dot size, v dot size, and here you can replace it by using yes. That's it. Same thing. You'll be getting the same thing as the output. So as you can see, the elements are same thing. We're getting the same thing. Three s size as the output. That's fine. Okay. Now let us go. How we can get the input like this input elements from the user? That's also the same process. Let me just delete it and let me just copy this for loop. So instead of using this i, we can also use iterator. Iterator is also present in 
uh, it's on one of the four components of STL, but I prefer using for loop because it's much more simple than iterator. Okay, so same thing we will be having like this. So it's just put C in element and let's get let us get a in element. Okay, and just push that element again. So it's going to be v dot push underscore back element. That's it. But here we can't assign yes because we deleted it. We, we don't know the size. Okay. So you can just have like five elements. Okay. Five elements I'm pushing into element. And here we can have a uh, three dot size. So now no, let me just run it. We are going to get five elements input from the user. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, and five. And as you can see here, we're getting that is the output. So that's fantastic. And our next thing, what we're going to do is what if we wanted all the elements in a vector to be like zero okay so for that what we can do is we just go over here int v and we can just add the number of elements that we want inside our vector to be zero suppose if i wanted to be five elements to be of uh, in a vector to be zero means i can just add put a five in a bracket so this means that our our array our vector will be like this it will be zero comma zero comma five times okay these are the elements this using a single line we can do this Five elements will be zero. If you don't believe, uh, I will just see out v dot size as well, and I will just put a for loop and print everything. On zero, I less than v dot size i plus plus, and see out v of i. I will just put some space. Just execute it and. Uh, Okay, so this phi corresponds to the size, okay, and this phi corresponds to the elements, okay. You're having phi because phi zeros, okay, that's fine. And another thing, suppose what if you want like uh, the number of times any particular number in a uh, array, uh, sorry, in a vector. So like if you want like uh, phi ones, okay, like this. You want your uh, vector to have like this by default. You don't want to use a for loop or get input from the user pushback five ones uh, like that what you can do is you can just put a comma in it and add one that's it so now we will be getting the same size but your all the elements will be one yeah. as you can see here we have five ones and the size is five so if you want like any number you can add if you want five hundreds in your vector you can just go this and uh, instead of getting input instead of put pushing it manu manually like you can just do it so these are some of the cool features that vector has and uh, next thing what suppose if you want to resize your vector okay you want to change your vector size so now our size is 5 and it has 500 in it and suppose if you want to resize your vector only to three elements just remove all the next two elements so for that what's the syntax is that e dot resize and just pass how many elements you want i want only first three elements so i'm passing it as three so now here we will be uh, again i will put a b dot c out so b dot size c out after resized yandel let's copy it paste it so let me just run it okay it can't be put there sorry yes okay let me just run it So as you can see here, first thing, uh, our array, uh, our vector was having 500 in it. So totally our vector size was 5. So that's this line corresponds to that one. V dot size corresponds to this 5. So after, then we are resizing our vector to 3. So after resized, then we are printing V dot size. So as you can see here, our vector has been resized to 3. And here also, instead of 5 elements, we are getting only 3 elements because our V, uh, v dot size has become 3. So this is one way of resizing our vector like manually. And the next thing what we can do is we can... Uh, get the front and back element okay so we just clear all this so we're getting the front and back element let, let me just assign a ah, another thing I, I didn't tell you you can just assign a vector also like manually so you can let me just put one two three four five that's it so if you just run it okay i'll be getting the output as one two three four five. this is similar to array same thing as array okay so let me show you now how to get the front and back element okay i'll put c out front that's also so simple it's going to be b dot front that's it we'll be getting one as the output 
and for b dot back which is the last element back we are just going to put back so this thing can also be accessed by using v dot v of 0 and this one last element by using v of uh, v dot size minus 1 same thing but we have inbuilt functions for that also instead of typing that we can just use this front and back okay so as you can see here i'm getting front as 1 back as 5 over here simple and there's another thing okay what if we wanted to uh, clear our vector okay like so now we have five elements in it suppose what if we wanted to delete all the things so there's a function for that as well it's v dot clear that's it so now if i just after clearing if i just see out v dot size okay we we'll just have a endl over here Okay, same thing i will just i'm just printing all the things and then clearing it and then checking the size we will be getting the size as yeah i didn't add it we will be getting the size as zero okay so as you can see here this is five elements that after printing then i'm putting an gentle and then i'm adding v dot clear then i'm cout v dot size so as you can see after couting i'm getting the size as zero that means our basically our vector has been fully cleared so this is the trick to empty our vector so now if you want to check whether our vector is empty or not okay there is also a function for that so let me just remove this if v dot empty that's our function see out empty it's just simple i think you can guess seeing the if statement itself see out as elements so it's really simple b dot empty returns true okay b dot this returns one okay one that is true if the if our vector is empty zero if vector has even one element okay has elements simple that's the thing so if it is one means b dot empty is one our if condition becomes true and this c out empty gets printed and if the vector has some elements zero so it gets completely replaced by zero that is our if condition is false then it goes to the else part and our c out uh, has elements will be printed simple so now in our case here we are clear clearing our vector okay so in this case we will be getting the output as empty okay because of this speed out clear so as you can see here we are getting the output as v.empt, uh, sorry, v.empt is true and this empty is being uh, printed because we have done v.clear. So now what if I just commented this line and if I just run it, as you can see here it has elements. So simple, uh, v.empt, that's the thing. So it basically, basically covers all the things that you can do for competitive programming. That's the fun part of our vector. Just if you are just dependent on vector itself, like you can cover more, at least 50% of the commodity programming only by using vector and its inbuilt functions. So next thing is pop back, okay? So pop back basically is to like, uh, push back is to get the input and pop back is to remove the element, okay? I'll just copy this and paste it over here. V dot pop back. So as you can see here, it just removes the last element pop back. So if I just put it some trace okay we our last three elements three four five will be removed okay we'll be getting out plus only one two that's it so simple it just removes the last element so we have done with now front back push back next thing is clear we have done so only three are left that is insert erase and remove okay so if for inserting uh we are having like this as a syntax okay v dot insert position and the element okay okay this is basically the syntax okay and another uh, thing that you take you to notice is that in vectors we can we can't just give the position by using a number we need to give by using a iterator okay that's the only way we can give position in vector so how it is done is that v dot begin okay v dot begin This is like a iterator reference to the first element present in a vector. So v dot begin will be basically v of zero. This corresponds to the address. Address okay. Address of v of zero. If we put a asterisk over here, 
if you know pointers you will be really clear over, over here i have done a video about pointers you can go and watch that if you put a asterisk over here this corresponds to the value of v of zero but if there isn't any asterisk this corresponds to the address of v of zero just a reference okay reference like if you are if you have used pointers you will be knowing this one and you have another reference okay v dot n this refers to the this is also a reference to the address of the last element okay v of uh, v of how to say how to write that v of size size minus one okay this, this is the last element because uh, suppose we here are having the five elements over here our fifth uh, our this element will be fourth index because zero one two three four so v of four will be five so this one is 5 minus 1, that is a size minus 1, we will be having V of 4. So V dot n basically is a reference to this last element. So that's what I have done here. So now what if we want to get the, what if we want to access the second element? Okay, there, because we are having only two references. This is one is the, for the beginning, this one is for the end. So how we can access the second element is means that just by putting V dot begin, V dot begin, plus one that's it this corresponds to the second element okay because this is zero zero plus one will give us a reference to the second element and if you put two this gives a reference to the third element same thing you can also minus subtract from minus two like that because it will come to the third element like that you can also come from backwards so these are the basic tricks uh, before going to into the web portion okay so now let's just insert something so it's going to be v dot insert uh, let us say you want to insert at the first position. Okay, let's just go with the basics. Begin and say I want to insert six. Okay, so after inserting, like let me just print it. Okay, Control C, paste it. Just put a C out after inserting handle. Just execute compile and run it. So as you can see here, v dot begin as I told you it corresponds to the first position. So basically it has, let me just close all these things first. It's really confusing to find out. Okay. So, so first position, we have just marked the position v dot begin. V of, as I told you earlier, v dot begin corresponds to the zeroth index of our vector. So 6 is getting printed, in, uh, inserted in the 0th index and all the other elements are not, it's not getting replaced. Insertion means basically like we're just pushing the elements to the right side, okay, move ahead, move that way and I need to come in this place. So that's what happening here, 6 is coming in place of 1 and all the elements are pushed towards the right. Simple, that's it and suppose if you want, like I want 6 in place of this 2 and 2 needs to get moved rightwards means I just put v dot begin plus 1. So now how it will be is that will be like 1 comma 6 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 so this will be the output so if I just run it down so I'm getting 1 2 1 6 in the middle and now if I show you like how end works is that so end end this won't be the output uh, our 6 will our 6 will come over here just right now simple we're getting at the end so as i told you earlier we can just manipulate this one also so we just put a minus two okay minus two where it will go minus two it will be here okay so we just run this one okay so as you can see here this portion so it comes over here and four and five moves that way two elements just keeping minus two means after skipping last two then it gets inserted that's it this is the insert function okay in uh and this one will be used in most of the places okay even for sorting our vector sorting our vector we'll be using that uh, i forgot to tell you about tell you about sorting here as well okay sort same thing we'll be using this v dot begin and v dot end over here also as well it's going to be v dot begin that is the starting position comma uh that is the ending position v dot end just put it this will work in assigning order okay and I was changed the vector to some uh, random values because it was already sorted, okay? So now if we just run it, okay, it will be getting sorted in the ascending order, okay? And, okay, it's showing an error. The reason why it's showing an error is because we have only included IO stream, okay? Sorry, IO stream and IO as include vector. 
So, but sort comes inside this one, this hash to bit slash std. And if you are going to use only sort, it's going to come under hash include CLUDE algorithm. Because when I told you in the previous video, we had like four components uh, algorithm, containers, iterators, and functors. Sort comes inside algorithm component. So we need to include hash include algorithm. So now if I just run it, I won't be getting any error. So as you can see here, my uh, vector is getting sorted in ascending order. Okay. So that's right. So, so now what if you want to sort this uh, vector in descending order? It's really simple. You just add another one argument. Okay. It's going to be greater int and just put some circular bracket like this. So this this add just th this thing and it will be getting sorted in descending order. So as you can see here, we are getting sorted. This is a sorted one, 100, 10, 7, 5. So it's in descending order. This is for sorting and in order to avoid this, like using as usual vector, as usual algorithm, if I just comment this out and if I just use this one. So here we are having like two things. So we can just better go with as include bit slash std c plus plus plus. So we'll be getting the output. This won't show any error. That's it. So this is sorting and uh, next thing is removing. Okay. So we are we are having like two removes. Okay. And another thing as well for sorting. Um, like what if you wanted to sort only a particular uh, particular range in it. For example, if we want to just remove this one, first one, we want, we want to ignore this first one and we need to sort this range only. Okay, so we will be getting, we need to like have our vector as 100, 1 comma, 5 comma, 7 comma, 10. We need to get, get our uh, vector like this. Okay, so for that what we need to do is, so here we aren't sorting the first element alone. We are sorting the rest of the rest of our vector. So for that, just change the position. As I told you earlier, this corresponds to v of 0, reference to v of 0, and this one's for the last element. If you just put plus 1, this 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 refers to the starting position plus 1, so it will consider these elements only. So if I just uh, run it now, I will I will put c out after sorting. Let's put an handle over here. Just execute this. So as you can see here, uh, my first uh, element remains same and my rest of the things are getting sorted in ascending order. Okay, so same thing if I want to keep this, what if like I want to keep the first three elements same and 10 and 5 only to get sorted, we begin, begin plus 3, okay. So now if I just run it, our first three elements will remain same, last two elements will be getting sorted. So as you can see here, first three are same, last two are getting sorted. Simple. So this is for sort. We just work around with. We just do and practice. You will be getting like so simple. It's really simple how it works. So I will just command this stuff. Okay. So next thing is erasing. Okay. So you we have the v dot erase. Okay. Erase is the name of to remove remove the particular elements between a range. So we just put v dot begin comma v dot begin plus 2 okay so this is the range okay so just simple v dot begin corresponds to 0 begin plus 2 corresponds to next two elements so it's going to be this 3 okay so now let me just run it and let's let me just show you okay uh, i will put after erasing okay just execute it now so as you can see here 7 10 and 5 the first two elements are erased so which means that this erases this erases from 0 to if you put uh, begin plus 2 it, it it's not till 2 it erases 0 is considered but 2 is not getting considered it's from 0 and 1 are getting erased basically so if I put 3 means it's 0 to 2 which which implies 3 is not included so it will basically uh, erase it basically erases the index 0, 1, and 2. Okay, so now if I just show you, if I put begin plus 3 means we will be getting removed. 100, 1, and 7 will be removed. 3 won't be getting removed. So if I just run it now, we will be getting the output only as 10 and 5.
so that last term is not getting included so we'll be getting the output as 10 and 5 because 100 1 and 7 are getting erased simple this is also the same logic as i told you here simple thing begin just use position i'm not using your v.n i'm just asking v.n you can also use this way as well because these are just positions okay simple this is v dot uh, erase i will just comment it i guess that's it v dot erase there are also many functions like binary search remove is there we have max size capacity there are like also many uh, inbuilt functions for vector by uh, by but i think these are like the most importantly used for any programming related stuff so that's it for this video and by second videos i will be doing many other containers in stl c++ so do subscribe my channel i was going to do this in Many other programs in C, C++, Java, Python, Blender, the distributed machine unity. So do check out the videos of my channel, subscribe and support me and thanks for watching.